Hello and welcome to the second devlog for our game Restart. For those of you who haven't seen the first devlog, Restart is a 2D sandbox game in which you play a scientist who ends up in the Stone Age and has to establish a civilization with the goal of reaching the Space Age. That means you can build your own country, develop different sectors like agriculture, warfare or science and later even trade with other countries or fight against them in wars. NPCs will create their own cities as well and maybe they progress faster than you or they progress slower than you and you can trade with them, you can collaborate with them or you can fight epic wars against them. Okay, but let's stop talking about the idea of the game and let's start talking about the important stuff. What have we accomplished in comparison to the first devlog? And as you can see, we have accomplished quite a lot. So let's talk about the world first. We have created some trees and grass and we have created some procedural background generation for the caves and also for the upper world. Right now the procedural backgrounds are basically consisting out of only one background per layer so they are not really procedural right now because we don't have any variations. But we will add these in the future as we are working on the game. We have decided for dropping the triangle blocks and only using square blocks in our game and I think like this it looks much cleaner and also it's easier to work with. All player animations are finished and as you can see the tools are also appearing in his hand so you can see which tool he is working with. We also added a simple animal behavior and some animals and as you can see the animals have HP as well. You can kill them and they will drop something. That's the cutest fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. This bunny right now will drop a sword because a sword is completely normal for a bunny to drop. I wouldn't imagine anything else that a bunny could drop instead of a wooden sword. I mean, every bunny is carrying a wooden sword nowadays. It's dangerous times, guys. But jokes aside, we just did this of course because we didn't create any items for bunny drops right now, but we will create those in the future. Okay, so let's talk about what changed from the UI side and also from the feature side. As you can see, we have HP integrated now. So we have an HP bar on the left. And as you can see, we can also get fall damage. That's how I got the damage because there are not any enemies in the game right now. And also we have an inventory bar. And as you can see, we can select different items in the inventory bar and use them in the world. We can use tools and we can craft tools by using different ingredients and also we can place blocks if there are other blocks next to it. I also made it possible to fell trees. Right now we have this animation if we fell a tree. Tell me if you like it or if you would like it more if all the tree parts directly disappear. But I thought like this if they disappear from bottom to top it looks cooler but that's just my opinion so please tell me your opinion in the comments. The first materials can be gathered by either punching trees with your bare hands which will drop unprocessed sticks or by using your bare hands to mine dirt. You can't mine stone with your bare hands however if you have crafted a wooden pickaxe you can mine stone with the wooden pickaxe. Let's take a closer look inside the caves. As you can see right now we have made it possible so that multiple blocks can spawn in the same world. Before I could only spawn one type of block. Now we have already multiple blocks inside the world and as you can see the deeper we get inside the caves the more stone will spawn and in the end it will be only stone and no more dirt. We have also implemented a climbing mechanism into our game mostly because we removed the triangles but also because it makes it much easier to climb steep hills. Let's talk about what we have planned for the next few months. For the next few months we want to work on making the crafting menu much nicer. Creating an inventory where you can swap inventory items with your mouse and also we want to integrate NPCs and NPC behavior and of course NPC citizenship because we want to make the NPCs citizen of a certain country. So some are citizen in your country and some are citizens from other countries because that will bring us much closer to our core feature which is the countries and the citizenships and the creation of your own country and the development of your own country into the space age. I will keep you updated along the way and remember if you like our game and consider playing it when it's out please take a look at our steam page and wishlist it on steam it really helps us much 
And also, if you want to get engaged with the community, feel free to join our Discord server, link to that is in the description as well. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a sub if you haven't already, and I see you for the next devlog.